Parashat Tzav. It's fascinating that Parashat Tzav always takes place right before the festival of Passover. And I've often spoken about the very special quality of this magic night of the Passover Seder. One of the guests, special guests, probably the most special guest at everyone's Seder is Elijah the prophet. And Elijah is the individual who will announce the Redeemer and the redemption of Israel and the world. He's the expert in the Talmud on redemption. And he knows exactly what is necessary for redemption to take place. And at one important point during the Seder, right by the grace after meals, we actually open the door to let Elijah come in. And after we recite the grace after meals, after the Passover feast, we each, or the one who leads in the Birkat Amazon in the grace after meals, drinks from the wine. And there's a special wine goblet for Elijah the prophet to drink, drink as well. I remember as a child always looking fascinatedly, did he really drink any wine or didn't he drink any wine? And now I sort of shake the table, so it looks like he drank wine, even if he didn't drink wine. But the fundamental question that we ask all the time, why did we have to open the door for him? If he was able to be at everyone's Seder at the same time, he'll get into the house, everyone's house, each in its own time. And I mentioned a few years ago we don't open the door to let Elijah in. He's already in. We open the door to let ourselves out to come to the land of Israel. Because thank God we have the land of Israel and it's our homeland. So it's important for us on the festival of Passover to remember and to make even more solid plans to come to live in Israel. I want to suggest another explanation. The Passover Seder revolves around questions and answers. The leader of the Seder tells the story of the going out of Egypt, the true birthday of the Jewish people when we became a nation, when we became a free people. And the story unravels and reveals itself by the leader of the Seder and the children around the table, asking questions and receiving answers. And there are four types of children. That's how the Haggadah puts it. One is wise, one is wicked, one is, is simple-minded, and one doesn't know how, what to ask, or even how to ask. Those are the four types of children. And each of those children can and must be answered. And they are, by the substance of the Seder words. What about the wicked child, the Rasha, who sort of puts himself out of the entire celebration? What is the, this service to you? To you, but not to himself. He doesn't count himself in it. What about him? And let me suggest perhaps a little way out interpretation. Mm -hmm. 
We opened the door of the Seder for Elijah the prophet. Because in the midst of the questioning, the son who was asking, the wicked son, the Rasha, he's not really interested in too many answers. He's just trying as best as he can to be a bit ornery. And since he doesn't believe he belongs there, what is this service to you, not to him? He gets up and leaves. We open the door for Elijah because we are hopeful that Elijah will go out, find him, and bring him back into the Seder room and around the Seder table. And that's the whole point. When will the Messiah come? When at least all of the Jewish people are united and then they can go out and unite the entire world and make it a world of peace. But the first step is for all the Jewish people to become united as one. And therefore we cannot afford to lose any Jewish child. And if there is a Jewish child who walks out on the Seder because he doesn't feel that it applies to him, because he thinks it only applies to those who are making it, but not to him. It's necessary for us to walk the, that particular son back into the Seder as soon as we find him. And so we take Elijah the prophet out with us. He's the expert. He's the author of redemption. He's the one who will, according to the prophet Malachi, return the hearts of the children to the parents and the parents to the children. So he's the perfect one to bring the child back. And the parents must leave the Seder in the middle if indeed there is one of their children who has not come to the table. Find him, her, and with words of love and commitment and belief in the future, we would bring each of them home together with Elijah. So may it be this year in every one of our Sadari. May all of our children return. And through them may we be able to restore and return all of Israel. And ultimately the entire world. Pesach Sameach.